In Derbyshire, 16-year-old Naomi lives alone with her four-month-old baby, Leo. I wouldn't change Leo for the world, but I just wish I would have waited a bit longer. I didn't feel ready to be a mum at 15. It was kind of a shock to know that I was going to be a mum in secondary school while doing my exams. She had just broken up with her long-term boyfriend. A week after we'd split up, I told him I was pregnant. But that night I got pregnant, we didn't use anything because it was New Year's Eve and we was really, really drunk. So it didn't really cross our minds. Naomi's mum, Claire, is also a single parent. To Bob, 14, Jensen, 11, Emma, 9, Jessica, 3, and baby Ellie, who's six months old. I just started, I just cuddled her and I was just crying because I thought she's going to go through what I've been, went through. And I thought I wanted to have a youth, go out, you know, friends, have a life sort of thing. I was just totally shocked. Mum Claire was pregnant with her sixth child at the same time as Naomi. Well, I just found out about two weeks before Naomi. We was basically the talk of the town, <laughs> which was quite embarrassing when you're walking down the street together with two bumps. <laughs> Sharing the same experience has brought Naomi and her mum closer together. <laughs> yeah, I was 14 when I lost my virginity. How old was you, Mum? I was 16. Two mm -hmm. months off? Yeah, you're still underage. Only by two months, I went two years out. All right, chill out. I was in a relationship and I loved him at the time. You still do. How many people you slept with? Five. Five? Slack. Get a lot. <laughs> Is that every one of our dads? Excuse me, have you got three dads? <laughs> Hopefully. I wouldn't like to have loads of children like my mum. I do see how my mum sometimes struggles with all her kids and being on her own and doing it. So it does make me think I don't want to be in that position. When Leo was a few months old, Naomi moved into her own place. Despite being only 16, she has clear ideas on how to run her home. It's like at my mum's house, Nothing was ever in its place. It was just like wherever people just left it and it irritated me. So I've always said, when I get my own house, nothing's gonna be like that. <laughs> so this is basically what I do every day for ages, just clean. <laughs> I don't know where she's got the tidiness from and the organisation, because not my, none of my family in our house are like that. It's just Naomi. Naomi is so house proud, she struggles to cope with visitors, especially her family. I'm not used to having them round here because I never really like invite them up because they make too much mess. <laughs> Look what your children have done to my floor. Yuck. Not only is Naomi on top of keeping her house clean, she's cooking for eight. Yeah, it's hot. Ten out of ten. Thank you. Why is the mashed potato all over my sofa arm and sweet corn in my rug? It wasn't me. It's all over your arm as well, so it is you. Yeah. Yeah, I think I am OCD. Do you agree with me? <laughs> it's got to be perfect. In Derbyshire, 16-year-old Naomi does have her own house and is struggling to make ends meet. Yeah, I have to, like, bills and pay my food shopping off and nappies and stuff for Leo. It does work out, like, I have about 10 to £15 pounds left for that week. It's all new to me doing this. I think I've done quite well so far, though. I've not missed any, like, like payments on my bills. This chart is, like when I pay my bills and then when I've paid them, I just like colour it off, which I need to do now actually. It's just my way of being organised. <laughs> Living off benefits makes me feel like cheeky because I'm not really doing anything apart from live, looking after Leo and I'm just getting money for doing it, which I do feel cheeky doing that, but it's the only way that I can like support Leo at the minute. Naomi may be taking a grown-up approach to her finances, 
But Mum Claire is concerned that she's taken life too seriously. You're young, you want to go out there and have a laugh. You don't also have to grow up too much. You know, cause you want to live that young life. I can't be made to be silly. I wish she'd go out at least, you know, probably twice a week with her friends, but she doesn't like doing it. She's very clingy with him. When I do go out with my friends, it's like there's something missing. So sometimes I don't want to go out. But you'll get over that eventually. Yeah, no, but like half of the time they're all like talking about college and school and it's like, well, I've not been doing anything apart from just looking after Hilly yeah. If I really, really wanted to go out there, I would. But it's just like sometimes it's like I don't want to, I can't be bothered. I feel better for it than getting out. Naomi's conversation with her mum has made her think about her life before Leo. At school, I was just basically a typical teenager, doing what they want, when they want, going out, out with to parties. It changed quite a lot when I had Leo, which I do miss being a teenager. I didn't have to care about anything then, <laughs> but now I do. It's a big shock not like seeing them every day and going out with them every weekend. I do get lonely sometimes, being in the house on my own with just Leo, because he doesn't speak. <laughs> it's difficult as well, not being able to, like, enjoy your teenage years, but... It's my mistake, but a good mistake. I'm happy. <laughs> But it's not only her friends that Naomi would like to see more of. Texting Leo's dad. Asking him when he's next here. Just saying, when you're next coming down, Leo wants to see you. Leo's dad visits him once a week, but for Naomi, that's not enough. It makes me feel like... I'm on my own with everything. I do, like, hate the fact that he can go out when he wants, he can do what he wants, and he can have, like, time off from Leo, which I can't do that. It should be both of our responsibilities. But he just sees it as mine. <laughs> She's got to understand he works, and he is going to be tired. I think sometimes Nami doesn't really understand that bit yet, because she's never been to work full-time. I think there is a, quite a bit of bitterness there at the moment because now we, I think, still loves them to bits and hoping that they will all get back together. But, of course, she's only 16. You know, they think differently. First love, and she thinks it's going, going to last. Get your leggies dry. In Derbyshire, Leo is now six months old and there have been changes for Naomi. I feel like I'm, like, being myself again, like, losing weight and dyeing my hair a different colour, just acting my age, really. And she's no longer a single mum. Me and Leo's dad have, like, got back together and we're trying to actually make it work so we can be a proper family. And it's going well so far, we've not had any arguments yet. Mordy! Mordy! Who's that? <laughs> Naomi talks to her mum about her relationship with Leo's dad. Just got to stop being bossy. I don't want to be a single mum. No, I don't want to be a single mum, neither. So I am going to actually try. I know it's hard. Think of Leo and you. We're doing all right in a minute, though. We've not had any fallouts yet. That's I think that's why we're getting on quite well at the minute. Because we've not seen each other like all the time like we used to. You never know. Five years down the line, you could get married. When I was little, my mum and dad were together like on and off. I just want Leo to like have us both in his life all the time. If it doesn't work like with me and Leo's dad, then at least when Leo's older, I can say, well, we tried. Naomi's love life may be working out, but Mum Claire is still concerned that she's missing out on teenage fun. I'm babysitting for you. You're going out. Kidnapping your son for a couple of hours. I'll sleep. <laughs> no, you can't sleep. You've got to go out with your mates. I feel bad for leaving him. But you're all right. They're all here to help. You've ended up with Billy No Mates. Where are you going? 
I don't think he'll sleep till about seven-ish. That's sad. But if he does, just stick him in his push chair. See you later, Mum. See you later, Dot. Have a good time. Yeah. Don't do anything now, wouldn't do. Like what? Pig out too much. Get pregnant. Mum Claire's finally persuaded Naomi to go out with her old school friends, Hayley, Keely, and Cassie. Find it easy talking to you lot, because you've got a baby on the way, you've got a baby. You are a baby. <laughs> <laughs> it's been nice, like, just to get away from him for a while. And be a teenager again. Do you ever find yourself getting really upset, like, when he's not around? I have done before, yeah. But, like, that's why I like for now, because you can just let your hair down and be your age. Yeah. For a few hours. For a few hours, it's, like, really good. Since you've had a baby, you've been really busy with Leo, and it's nice that you can just be a normal teenage and hang around with mates. Oh, fine. I really enjoyed it. And my mum was right, making me come out. And hopefully I will, like, keep coming out more often. I'm going to go with the lady. Bye! Thanks for watching. See you later, Mum. Thank you. It's not easy having a baby at a young age, but I'm trying my best and I'm gonna try and give him a good future. Hopefully myself a good future too. <laughs> Start college in a few months and then hopefully like in the future, like when Leo's a bit older, obviously hopefully I'll have a job. Then like we get our own house together and then like be a proper family. Hopefully it'll work out.